everybody. This is Jeff with Living in Arizona, and today we're going to talk about road rage in Arizona. This is a big thing. You're going to spend a lot of time in your vehicle in Phoenix, in Arizona, especially if you uh, don't work from home. Either way, Phoenix is really spread out. Arizona is spread out, so people have to drive. There's not any other alternatives. There's not a, like a train. The light rail doesn't really even help out. So, yeah, road rage is a big thing. We're going to dial this in here. If you're new to living in Arizona, thinking about moving to Arizona, you may consider subscribing to our channel, Living in Arizona. And let's go ahead and dial this in. You can watch many other videos on Arizona if you would like by searching our channel. So, what's the deal here? So, best and worst cities to drive in. You can see uh, North Carolina and Texas kind of take the cake on this. So, if you're from North Carolina or Texas, you're going to feel right at home uh, driving around crazies in Arizona. But the cities that make the list out here in Arizona are going to be Gilbert, Mesa, um, Scottsdale. I'm not going to say that this list necessarily has the most accurate statements because I don't think those are even the worst places to drive in Phoenix or Arizona. But uh, it, it's worth noting this here on this wallethub.com. But this one probably says a lot more. Here are the worst drivers in America ranked by state using government data from best to worst. So this is Inc.com. So they're saying Iowa, Minnesota, New Jersey have the best drivers. Top three right there, Virginia, Ohio, top out the top five. So who's down here at the bottom of the list? Oh, what do you know? We got Arizona right there at number 50. The only other state that's got a worse government data inquiry about drivers is Montana. So with an alarming 182 people killed in 2015 while walking or biking on Arizona public roadways, a climb up the steep cliffs out of the Grand Canyon seems safer than commuting by foot or bike alongside the drivers in the state, according to the site. But guess what, guys? It goes a lot more. It goes a lot more than this. Okay, I mean, the, we're talking road rage, but this just shows you how aggressive these drivers in Arizona can be. And um, I'll share some personal experiences with you. But you'll be driving down the road, and and some maniac, you'd almost question if they're on drugs. Literally, you'll be doing something. Uh, they'll honk at other people very loudly. Um, sometimes they'll drive up right alongside you, and they want to like roll down their window and like talk to you about something. I mean, this this is the kind of stuff that they do out here. And there's videos all over the internet on YouTube about road rage in Phoenix. But, um, you know, there, because there are some people out here whacked out on some drugs, I don't know what they're on. Some say meth, some say crack, I don't know. But, or maybe even alcohol, but they get, there's some pretty rowdy drivers out there. And I, I know that some of you are gonna say, uh, oh yeah, well don't do anything dumb. Well, <laughs> Just wait until one of these loose cannons comes up alongside you and starts showing you a thing or two about how loose of a cannon they really are. And this is this kind of goes into the thing about how safe is Arizona. Well, you got these loose cannons on the road driving. Who knows what's got them all pent up? You know, sometimes it's just waiting at a light. They get all frustrated. If you're not, if, if you don't go fast enough at the light, they'll literally honk at you violently. So they're mad already that they're stuck at a light. And then you don't, you don't know, go fast enough for them and it's already congested and they just come up alongside you and they want to roll down their window and tell you, hey, why don't you go faster? What's up with you? And make all these faces and then they like, try to follow you. I've seen it. This kind of stuff happens. This is psychos, man. Road rage psychos. <laughs> um, so just so you know, in Arizona, if you're one of those types of people who gets road rage, it's not a traffic violation. It's a crime. So I'm just letting you guys know, not because uh, you're bad people or anything, but sometimes, I mean, I do it too. I'll be driving down the road <clears throat> and I'll, I'll get frustrated with drivers. I mean, it happens. Um, but if you take it to that next level where you want to try and get into a fight with somebody about it <clears throat> or whatever, you want to roll down your window and kind of give them a piece of your mind, just be, just be aware that, uh, like it says right here, there is a difference. Aggressive driving is a traffic offense. Road rage is a criminal offense. So to all of you guys out there who, who are vulnerable to like trying to taunt other drivers, elderly people, uh, people, foreign drivers who you don't agree with their dri driving tactics, just ignore it, move on, go along. Don't try and get into it with them because, you know, we've got even things out here, not just the law, but people will pull guns. Arizona is one of those states where people have guns and they, they, sometimes they'll, 
over a, a just a, a, a split hair second of driving on the road, people will freak out and decide to use their gun and change their whole life and your life forever because they didn't agree with something that irritated them on the road. I mean, that's how petty things can get with this road rage. And I think a lot of it has to do with the fact that people spend so much time in their car. I don't know if these are just loose cannons to begin with, whether they're foot pedestrian traffic that would be like this, or if they're just, when they get in that car, they just become nutcases. <laughs> but it's huge here in Arizona, and I'm not just saying that, okay? So, um, yeah, you can get arrested for road rage. This is coming straight off of Knowles Law. Uh, Arizona makes a clear distinct distinction between aggressive and reckless driving and road rage, which is categorized as a criminal offense. Arizona classifies road rage as a crime, not a traffic infraction. According to the state law, road rage occurs when a motorist uses their vehicle or any other type of dangerous weapon to assault a driver or passenger in another vehicle. So it, you don't necessarily have to use a gun or a knife to threaten someone. You can use your vehicle as a dangerous weapon. And when you turn your car into a weapon, you've already crossed into that line of being a road rager. So if you're trying to run people off the road or cut people off or drive crazy, you know, you're entering into the road rage category of a criminal offense. It can also include other assaults that happen as a result of in, uh, um, incidents that occur on a road or highway. Prosecutors who choose to levy Road rage charges will need to show that a driver exhibited willful and wanton disregard for the safety of others as a result. So sometimes you can get all flustered and upset and frustrated and you can be putting not just you and the driver that you're taunting in harm's way, but also drivers' cars around you. So, um, and it's not just you who's going to be the perpetrator. You could be the victim of this stuff. So I'm just letting you know. Um, and usually when you see these kind of hotheads, we're talking like these people can be super hotheaded and very irrational. We don't know if they're on drugs. We don't know what it is. But anyone who takes a little road incident, which is a split fraction of their day, probably no more than 30 seconds to turn it into an all out war with you. That's a loose cannon. You don't know if they're packing heat, they got a gun or what they're going to try and do. So usually just try to avoid even looking at them, even if they're trying to taunt you. Slow down a little bit. Let them go ahead. But they, these people are... I've seen them. I've seen them out here. Okay? And that, that's why I'm saying that this kind of stuff happens. So don't think that... I mean, it doesn't matter if you're Steve Stone Cold Steve Austin. These guys, they'll, they'll, if they got a gun, they, they don't care how big you are because they're like, I don't. we don't care how big you are. A gun will take you out. That's how they look at it. They're hot-headed. So, aggressive driving. I mean, this is... Uh, this is something you can even pull up on the Arizona Department of Public Safety. You can see police trying to curb aggressive driving and road rage in Arizona. Here we have a lady uh, in 2016 left a 19-year-old international student, Yu Jiang, dead. They killed, so this lady, Holly Davis, was sentenced to 25 years for a senseless death. So she got upset um, over something that this, uh, you know, this foreign exchange student, international student, you know, obviously not from here, doesn't know the rules, maybe just kind of also a young person. And this woman took it into her hands because of an incident on the road to kill her. It's, it's, really, guys, road rage, man, it's not worth it, guys. You, you, if you're one of those people who gets all hyped up over road rage, I mean, sure, get upset, but try not to, to harm people because of 10 seconds of your life because someone cut you off or didn't drive fast enough really not worth it so um and here you go i mean you've got uh another one right here 15 states with the most dangerous drivers you can see california rhode island right there let's go all the way down to see who's got the most dangerous drivers ah there you go number two arizona careless and inattentive two of the the deadliest behaviors drunk driving and speeding are something arizona is improving upon the state ranks only 15th worst in the nation. Unfortunately, Arizona drivers tend to be careless. Sixth highest number of carelessness related fatalities in the nation and gave an unhealthy disregard for the rules of the road. Seventh highest number of failure to obey related fatalities. Or, yeah. The number one, again, Montana still comes up on that list. But, I mean, even out there, we had a cop just recently get killed because he pulled someone over and a, uh, a, a reckless driver hit the cop who was writing the ticket. I don't know if he was texting and driving. This happened out on the Indian 
uh, Native American reservation out there in Scottsdale killed the cop. I mean, texting and driving. And Arizona is actually one of those states where texting and driving is not uh, illegal. You can, so believe it or not, uh, will Arizona finally join 47 other states and ban texting while driving in 2019? Laws banning adults from texting and driving exist in all but three states, Arizona, Montana, and Missouri. So you got Arizona and Montana, the top most dangerous states, but they haven't banned texting and driving. So... I think we're all a little bit guilty of looking at our phones when we're driving, but you could see how two of the most dangerous states also seem to not have laws against. So the law can actually make a place safer. Look, I've, I've looked at my phone when driving. I'm not perfect, okay? So I'm not trying to lecture anyone on any of this stuff. I'm just saying that as a collective, as a society, these are the things that happen. Here's that one on evening of January 7th, the driver on the Loop 101 near Scottsdale struck and killed Townsend of the Salt River Police Department. So that happened, Clayton Townsend was his name. He was an officer who was killed by a, uh, they're not saying if it was a drunk driver or what. The suspect told detectives that he had been texting and driving at the time of the crash. Okay, so he, he came clean on it, but uh, you know, this is, this is stuff that you guys can go through. If Mothers Against Drunk Driver I mean, there, Arizona is a really strict state against drunk drivers, too. So not a good state to try and drink and drive. I mean, there was a point in time where Sheriff Joe, if you don't know who Sheriff Joe Arpaio is, he had a crackdown where he was putting, uh, if you had, a, if you were, if you got a DUI, you were wearing, you were going to 10 City and you were going to wear pink for 30 days. Look that up. <laughs> that happened. I mean, that's how bad things got out here. Uh, Arpaio had to clean it up. But, um, you know, you got these interlock devices that people have to use. Um, just a lot of stuff to know, um, all across texting and driving. If you guys have any other questions about living in Arizona, uh, feel free to drop a question and thanks to everyone who's been uh, supporting the channel and subscribing and we'll see you guys on the next video.